I grew up in California. That's where I was born. Um, when my parents were together, it was pretty much the whole, you know, we smile when family's around and we smile when friends are around or family outings, you know, behind closed doors. It was mostly yelling, crying, and cussing, drinking, a lot of absence. You know, there was a lot of problems going on and my mother had a stomach illness, so she was always in and out the hospital. That was another thing I tried to bury. I had a part to play in it because it was my birth that caused her sickness. I knew that when I was young, you know, that me losing my mother would be a large possibility. There was a couple of times that she was in the hospital. She wasn't supposed to make it out. And getting into drugs and drinking, a couple of family members dying and things like that, I felt that no matter how much I hugged her, no matter how much I told her I loved her, no matter how much I read scriptures to her, I wasn't, um, I couldn't myself bring her back to health. And sometimes I felt like maybe this would be the last time. So I was drinking more, I was smoking more. Um, I started to get into pills and coke. I started working a lot, just kind of doing anything that would keep me from, um, I guess, reality. Uh, as far as the hurt and the pain and everything, I just kind of did what any other kid would do. And that's buried, really, through video games, through music, TV, movies. Well, I went through maybe like three days without sleeping. No matter how much I drank, I couldn't sleep because every single time it would be like a noise or something set me off. There was a night I made the choice of instead of continuing to ask God in my prayers to kill me, that I just was gonna do it myself. And I burned Psalms 91 into my arm. It's a prayer that my mother um, had been praying for me my whole life. I just felt like I couldn't break free of some certain type of curse. And I mean, it, it was kind of the only time in my life where I felt scared. I wanted to die, but every time that I felt like I was gonna try, there would be voices in my head telling me that I was going to hell. To me, I didn't think that I needed help. To me, I was functioning. To me, I did enough. To me, if I felt like dying, then I could. I knew the limits that would keep me from it. Sometimes I played with it because I didn't care more times than not. Um, I guess it kind of wasn't up until recent years that God had kind of allowed a lot of things to happen in order for me to just kind of wake up. I first started coming to Word of Life uh, consistently in 2019 and a lot more times than that I was intoxicated uh, but the more that I was starting to take my walk serious I guess what I was looking for was just a sense of purpose I got into get connected classes um, I was sober the whole time it kind of helped me shape up because by the time it came to get connected with a life team they were asking to sign the covenant. And the covenant was saying, you have to be free from alcohol, weed, and sex. And that was a big moment for me. And from that moment, I got involved into media. Um, I met Ivan and he introduced me into Celebrate Recovery. And from then on, I've seen myself when I take the time to slow down what changed in my mind though sometimes I might still you know have a nightmare so my first response isn't to drink and my first response isn't to smoke the first time that I've actually felt proud of myself um, I got a high school diploma I have my 
degree from culinary school, but I didn't feel true happiness up until I got my one year coin. Sobriety, celibacy. It's been two years now, but a full, you know, year and a half since I haven't had any substance or anything. Through the fellowship that I have here at Word of Life and the Celebrate Recovery Program, I've finally been able to experience true freedom, not only in my mind, but freedom also in my soul. And just even in my lifestyle, being around temptation and not batting an eye, um, not wanting to drink, not wanting to smoke, not wanting to just call up or, you know, do whatever, but really just, uh, just taking my walk serious. It's been two years since I've had anything. It's been two years since, you know, I've thought about anything really. And I'm just, I'm happy, healed. You know, I, I feel, I feel like God is restoring a lot of things that I couldn't myself restore. Now I'm experiencing truth. Freedom.